Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. So guys, in this particular video, I will be discussing today's latest Capgemini coding questions. Now these coding questions were asked in today's exam that is that happened on 15th December 2024 and in slot 1, these two coding questions were asked. So make sure that you are watching this video till the end because these questions are really important for you. They might repeat also and it is possible that for the same pattern of questions you can also get in your exam. So uh, I know that currently the Capgemini hiring is going on in coming weeks also lot of exams are there for Capgemini. So make sure that you are watching this video till the end and uh, in the middle part of the video I will also be telling you that if you do not know from where to prepare for Capgemini exam I have the last minute preparation material for it okay. It contains previous year questions for Capgemini for every section you can see here. I will discuss in detail about this uh, material in the middle part of the video but before moving ahead make sure to hit that like and subscribe button for this channel and do join this telegram group. The links of this telegram group and the Capgemini exam preparation material you will get in the description box as well as in the pinned comment. So guys now let's start this video. Okay so guys uh, first of all I will be discussing the question then the approach of this question and finally the coding part of this question and total two coding questions I will be discussing in this particular video. So first question is given an array of n minus 1 numbers in the range from 1 to n find the missing number. Again let's just read given an array of n minus 1 number n minus 1 numbers in the range from 1 to n find the missing number. Constraint is that n can be between 1 and 1000 and array elements range from 1 to n and only one element is missing. Let's just see with the help of an example. So here the n value is given as 5 but array has a size of n minus 1 okay array has a size of n minus 1 and the values of the array can also be between 1 to <coughs> 1 to n that is 1 to 5. So currently only 4 elements are there and one number is missing. So what is that number 1 2 3 4 5 because we know that all the values of the array is between 1 to n n is 5 so 1 2 3 4 5. Now how we will find the missing value. So see it is given that n is the input and n minus 1 elements are given and all the elements are from the range 1 to n. So this is as that is it is very simple. What we will do I am telling you now the approach of finding. So in school we have read a formula that what is the sum of first n numbers. What is the sum of first n numbers. It is n into n plus 1 divided by 2 okay okay divided by 2 this is the formula of finding the sum of first n numbers so if I put 5 here because n is 5 so 5 is 5 into 5 plus 1 divided by 2 that is 15 15 is the answer here okay this is the simple formula now we have an array of size n minus 1 and we know that every element is ranging from 1 to n. So what we'll do, we'll find the sum of this array. So sum of this array, what is the sum of the array? 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 5. It is 12. Now this is the total sum we should have but this is the current sum that we have. So what is the missing number? It is simply 15 minus 12. 15. Yeah. 15 minus 12 that is 3. So 3 is the missing number. So this is our exact answer that we are expecting. So simply by using the formula minus the sum of the array we are getting the missing number. I hope now this question is clear to you. It was very easy. Okay. Now let's just quickly move towards the coding part of this question. But before moving towards the coding part of the question I would like you to know that on our top mid page of code bashers we have Capgemini exam preparation material. Okay, it is available single handedly also and in the package also. But let's just see what inside this Capgemini exam preparation material, what all things we have. So we have total of four sections which will contain Capgemini technical MCQs. Okay, you know that based on some IT subject the MCQs are asked. So we have total 140 plus questions there. Capgemini pseudo codes are there previously asked. Capgemini coding questions are 90 plus questions previously asked. Capgemini essay writing questions also we have. So all these things you will find in this particular material. It is at a very nominal price of rupees 99 and all the questions that are discussed is in this material 
I have previously asked questions and they are a very well structured PDFs. Okay. So if you are interested for your uh, for preparing for your exam or last minute preparation because a lot of questions do get repeated from this material also. So if you are interested for it, the links you are uh, the links of this material you will find in the description box. Do check them out. Okay. So you will have a proper question, the options and the answer for it. So I hope this thing is clear to you. Now let's just move towards the coding part of this question. So this is the coding part. So what I have done, first of all, we have taken n as input. Then we have taken n minus 1 array as input. And then we, we have first calculated using the formula. This is the expected sum. Okay, this is the expected sum. So expected sum is n into n plus 1 divided by 2 because the sum of first n numbers. Then actual sum was 0. So we have like find the actual sum by iterating over the loop. Actual sum plus equal to error of 5. And what is the missing number? It is simple sum minus actual sum. Let's just run it. 5 is the input. 1, 2, 4, 5 is the input. Let's just run it. Okay. So, <coughs> sorry. Uh, sum expected sum. Sorry. This is expected sum. Okay. If you are finding this video informative till here, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. <coughs> okay. Now you can see 3 is coming as the output because 3 was the missing number. Now if we place 3 here and now 1 should be coming as output because 1 is the expected number so let's just see so yeah one is output so this particular code will pass all the test cases that will be given to you okay so now let's move towards the second question of this video now let's just discuss the second question of this video given an array of size n find the majority element in the array the majority element is the element that appears more than n by two times okay so you are given an array of let's suppose x size okay so majority element will be that will be coming out more than twice or okay, more than n by 2 times that is x by 2 plus 1 if it is coming like that then it is a majority element so let us see with the help of an example here so we are given 5 as the size of the array and this is the array given we have to find the majority element that is coming highest time not highest but greater than n by 2 okay so see here so 3 is the answer why because see how many times 3 is coming 3 is coming 3 times 4 is coming 1 time and 2 is also coming one time okay now what will be the majority element so majority element will be the element that is coming more than n by 2 times so n by 2 times so n by 2 is 5 by 2 okay more than n by 2 so 5 plus 2 plus 5 by 2 plus 1 this will be equal to not 3.5 it will be 3 okay so 5 by 2 plus 1 it will be equal to 3 so if any element is coming this many times or greater than this many times then it will be a majority element so if the ans if the uh, array was like this, 3 is coming 2 times and there is 1 also that is coming 1 time, then in this case, majority element will be that element which will be coming greater than 3, greater than 3 times. So no, no element here is the majority element. I hope it is clear to you. We are not finding the highest occurring element. We are finding the majority element that is coming more than n by 2 times. Okay, so this is the formula for finding the majority element, n by 2 plus 1. So if any element is coming more than this, more than or equivalent to this, then that element will be a majority element. If the majority element is not existing, then we have to return minus 1. Okay, then we have to return minus 1 here in this case. Now let's just quickly move towards the coding part of this question. It's very simple. Okay, and uh, I have already told you about the Capgemini exam preparation material, what all things you will be getting. Uh, the It contains all the previous year questions. Lot of questions can get repeated in your exam also. And it's very suitable for the last minute preparation. Okay, the material is at only at a cost of Rs. 99. The links are in the description box. Now, let's just move towards the coding part. <coughs> so, uh, yeah. So, first of all, we will be taking the array input. This is the 5 is the array length. Then, we are taking all the elements of the array as input. This is all the elements we have given here. Okay. Now, we, are, we have to find the frequency of each element. Frequency of each element we will be finding. So I have done a previous video also that how to find the frequency of each element. So we are using the hash map and here we are incrementing the value of every element. So if it is coming three times, then the hash map will contain key will be the uh, array element and value will be how many times it is occurring. Okay. So yeah, this is. So after this loop is over, after this loop is over, so we will get every element's frequency in this hash map. Now we need to find the majority element. So what is the majority, what is the criteria for majority element? It will be n divided by 2 plus 1. Okay. n divided by 2 plus 1. So if any <laughs> element, 
which is present in the hash map is greater than or equivalent to this number is greater than or equivalent to this number then only <coughs> then only it is a majority element otherwise it is not so <coughs> if we do not have any majority element okay so what we can do here we can take a count here int is majority element pre present this is false in okay let's suppose it is false now what we'll doing if uh, if we are finding the majority element we will make this particular variable as true okay now after this loop is over if the majority element is uh, this particular variable is still false it means that we have not got the majority element if it is true we have got the majority element so if is majority element is true is true then we have to okay we will take a element also okay so int majority element let's suppose it is minus 1 then here we will assign it majority element equal to error of i okay if is majority element present is true then we are simply see out majority element else major see out majority element okay so but uh, yeah just a second yeah this particular variable is no longer needed because we are storing the majority element here so if we have the we have found the majority element then we will be assigning to it assigning to this particular variable and if we have not found any majority element we will simply it will contain minus 1 only so from here we will do a break statement okay so in the end we are simply doing see out majority element okay sorry for that <coughs> buffer so yeah let's just <laughs> run it. it here the answer should be 3 you will test it with uh, some other test case also in which there is no majority element so here we will do 1 let's just run it here the answer should be minus 1 yeah answer is coming out to be minus 1 so again this particular code will also pass all the test cases that will be given to you so this was all for this video i will make more such videos today and tomorrow also if you have exam you can write in the comment section that for which exam, which section you need videos, I will be making it. Okay. And do join the Shairam group before moving ahead. Okay. Before ending the video, do join the Shairam group. It is dedicated for 2025 batch students. And you can check out this exam preparation material for Capgemini. The links you can find in the description box as well as the pinned comment. Thank you for watching this video.